Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. In this video, I'll talk about LAM research. So LAM research is in the semiconductor manufacturing space. And, you know, it's very interesting when you look at the chart here because it has a triple bottom. It's not something that's very common. You know, you typically have double bottoms. Um, and in this case, you can also count that there could be a triple top here as well. But it's not that, you know, perfect, but you can count it. Um, and, you know, it's something that's pretty rare, right? So a triple bottom typically would mean that the stock is pretty bullish, um, but a triple uh, top means that the stock can't break out. Um, currently, it's in a zone where it's very bullish. So I'm going to take that viewpoint. Um, as for the risk here, there is going to be an earnings report in the next two days. So, you know, if I was smarter, I would probably wait for that earnings report to come out before I make a video on it. But I'm not that smart, so I'm going to make a video on it anyways. Um, and also do not follow what I'm doing. I'm just trying to share research. Uh, I will not be, you know, uh, financial advising you guys, okay? So uh, the long position I have here is a 20% downside and a 40% upside that I'm expecting. I don't expect a huge downside in the semiconductor space because, you know, AI has not been completed yet and there's always going to be more research into AI. And as for NVIDIA, there's always going to be a lot more competitors in the space because of how big that total addressable market is. So I don't expect um, the semiconductor space to, you know, uh, drop uh, very uh, quickly or very suddenly. So look at the fundamentals of these, uh, this company. You can see that the revenues are up, the net income is up, uh, the growth for the revenue is around 21%. Uh, the cash flows are down. I attributed this to the cyclicality of the semiconductor market. So, you know, we don't typically see this um, with NVIDIA recently because of how fast it has run. But it is true that, you know, in the semiconductor space, um, very prominent in the manufacturing space, especially where there's a huge amount of cyclicality in the industry. And it's not perfect, by the way, it's not a perfect cyclicality. You can see in some uh, years, quarter three is very good. Um, and then in some years, quarter three is very bad, right? So it seems like the, the best hit rate here is going to be quarter three, quarter four and quarter one would typically be good for the um, company. So, you know, seeing as how we already avoided quarter two and sure, quarter three might be bad, but, you know, I would highly expect quarter four and quarter one to be uh, very good, especially, you know, if we look at how fast the AI uh, sector is moving. Um, and then you have shares outstanding moving down as well. So they are buying back shares and that's a very good thing in terms of capital appreciation. And then we have their cash and debt, which is not as pristine as some of the other smaller companies that we often look at. But, you know, as the interest rates sort of move down, I would expect them to benefit from that. And I, I don't think the cash and debt should be that big of a worry if the interest rate moves down to, let's say, 3.5%. Um, sitting currently, at, I think it's like 5.25% in the US right now. Um, operating expenses are increasing, but as you all know, you know, semiconductors are a, you know, it, it's a market that's constantly changing. So I don't think that the operating expenses increasing is a you know very bad thing. There's always going to be R and D, and there's always going to be expenses in terms of run, running the business. So their operating expenses are increasing. That's true, but I don't think that's bad considering um, the uh, industry that the uh, this company is operating in. So you know the reason I didn't pick uh, applied materials instead of uh, LAM research is because uh, LAM research has a higher revenue growth compared to applied materials. But it is true that applied materials has a, you know, um, better PE ratio. Um, but in terms of the quality metrics, it seems like these companies are both very, very similar. So, you know, if I had more money, I would, you know, probably bet on both of these companies instead of just one. But for now, I'm only choosing LAM research. So looking at price targets again, once again, uh, don't rely on price targets. They are just a uh, overview of what analysts think. 
price target for Lamb Research is at 98 bucks, and over here on Simply Wall Street, we have a price target of 120 dollars here. So let's go back to the chart and you know see what the average of these uh, price targets are. So I would say the average is around 100 to 110. I would sort of lowball it and put it at 100 um, for the next 12 months. So once again, the spread here is going to be a 20% 20, uh, 20 downside and a 40% upside. Um, as you know, if you are buying right now, but I, I don't recommend it, you know, buying uh, just based on this video. I'm just sharing what I'm doing um, in the market here. So um, yeah, so you know, what does LAM research actually do? Um, all oh, right, over this set. Um, so, what does LAM research actually do? They're actually very important in the semiconductor space. Um, they do something like you know deposition, and they do a lot of uh, processes that relate to the wafers of semiconductors. Um, they also do a lot of uh, memory stuff. So. I, I, I apologize, I can't go too deep into it because I'm not a technologist, uh, but they're going to be very interesting in the manufacturing space. And as you have other competitors in the market, something like a Google trying to build their own um, chips, then you're going to have uh, probably more uh, products being sold by LAM Research into you know maybe other companies that are trying to create uh, fabricators right so that is why i am sort of investing in LAM research might be a short-term investment might be a long-term investment um i don't you know try to uh you know hold uh, time frames um hostage okay so thank you guys for watching uh like subscribe and see you in the next one